Hello everybody, this is Red again with the Golden Sand Hand Pump. And I get a lot of questions regarding pumping out sandbars. Uh, some of these sandbars can be quite large. And what you want to do, first of all, is not try to use the golden sand to pump the whole thing. Get you a bucket. And if you can, if the water's not too swift, you can generally get in and you can bucket out most of the sandbar. And there should be maybe six inches, four to six inches left after you get it. And, and, and it can take some time. You know, most of your time is spent trying to get to the gold, which is at the very bottom. So, you know, you can, uh, you can take a good part of the day just to get to that point where you can use the golden sand. And once you get to it, here's where it really shines. Because now you've got maybe four to five, six inches of sand at the bottom. And just start sniping the bottom with the golden sand like this. I try to keep this end of it pointing up because there's a flapper valve in there that'll shut. But as you can see, this thing gets to the very bottom there pretty quick. Then you start at the top, just let it go to the bottom. And generally at the bottom, around the outside edges is where you're going to find the gold. So start on the outside and work your way in. At least that's been my experience. If anybody else finds it to be different than that, let me know. And by the way, I'm always up for suggestions if anybody has any. So here I am just working this. Building up my muscles in my arms. Yeah. I'm pumping out a lot of sand here. You get to the bottom, sometimes you can work your way around just a little bit. Just leave it on the bottom and let it work around. Get all the stuff that's on the bottom. When you start finding like lead shot, bird shot, and lead paint, things like that, you know you're on the right track. see how easy it is once you get a lot of the sand off the top just don't waste your time trying to pump out all the sand that's in there you know most of the gold that you're going to find the river will place it in, a, in an area where all the heavy things go and you can test this by taking a, some lead weights put them on a balloon with about you know uh, 18 inches of string or something and throw it in and just watch where it goes. It'll go right to the sandbar, but it'll go right to the outside edge. And it'll sit there for a while. <clears throat> and then the rest of the sand will come and cover it up. So what you want to do is get the sandbar away from it and then start sniping it up. And you can get you can use both nozzles. I like this one. I prefer the nozzle that's right here because I put a little thing on the end here so if it gets plugged up, you just have to push it out. See? And you'll, it will get plugged up because it's not all sand down there. There's some bigger things, and there's rocks, and there's a rock for every size of tube that I could make. So it will get plugged up, but it's easy to get unplugged, too. See how we're doing this? I can't see it, but I think you'll be able to see it. This thing is just sucking up sand off the bottom like crazy. Well, that's it. I hope that was helpful, and I'll try to give some more tips on it as we go along.